Warning, before we get into this story, there are going to be some upsetting scenes and images and subjects that will be included. Viewer discretion is advised. A 30-year-old Russian YouTuber has been jailed for only six years after he live-streamed his pregnant girlfriend's death. Stas Riflay, whose real name is Stanislav Roshetnikov, was a streamer with content including gaming and gambling on online casinos. However, he became involved with a popular streaming subculture known as trash streaming, which would typically involve the streamer being heavily intoxicated whilst getting paid by viewers in real time to partake in acts, which would often lead to a dark, degrading and humiliating path. On December the 2nd, 2020, Stas was streaming with his 28-year-old girlfriend Valentina, also known as Valia, who was also suspected to be in the early stages of pregnancy along with their friend Marina. The live stream consisted of them mainly drinking, listening to music and chatting amongst themselves. All seemed well until around two and a half hours into the stream when a viewer sends Stas a donation of about $1,000 or £800 and wanted him to first beat Valentina and then lock her outside in the balcony where temperatures could reach a chilling minus 3 degrees Celsius or 22 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, this donation sets off an argument between the couple and Valentina eventually reaches for a knife to try and keep him away from her. But he's a big guy and he just easily pushes her back down into the chair where she continues to hold the knife. Shortly after this fight, Stas then stripped Valentina down to her underwear and poured freezing cold water over her before locking her out into the balcony. Stas was fully aware of the hypothermic weather conditions outside and even had the audacity to tell Marina to close the window midstream so that they wouldn't freeze. She actually reportedly tried to grab a jacket but Stas took it away from her and just kept saying the cold would sober her up. Valentina could be heard banging on the door for a significant amount of time. All the while, Stas kept on live streaming and telling viewers that Valentina had a bowel problem and that she needed to stay outside because she stunk. Now, I'm not sure as to how long he kept her outside for, as you'll see in the next clip, it looks like it went from being absolutely pitch black outside to now eventually when he goes to let her in, it seems as though it's now the early hours of the morning or perhaps sunrise. But when he did go and get her, Stas actually found Valentina collapsed and unresponsive. Now, instead of this sick man turning off his stream, he instead drags her lifeless body right into the view of the camera while saying, Valia, are you alive? My bunny, what's up with you? Valia, Valia, damn, you look like you're dead. Bunny, come on, tell me something. I'm worried. Damn, I can't feel her heartbeat. Guys, no pulse. She's pale. She's not breathing. Wake up, Valia. He then tries to make a frail attempt at resuscitation before carrying her body into the lounge area and placing her onto the couch. He then slumps back into his chair, binge drinking wine, whilst waiting for an ambulance to arrive. In a bizarre act, he then zooms the camera into Valentina's face before he continues to just drink and listen to music. The paramedics then arrive, and of course Valentina was pronounced dead at the scene. With over 15,000 viewers at this point, the authorities asked several times for the camera to be cut off, but Stas continued to live stream for a further two hours as he had viewers who were just as sick as him by paying Stas to keep the live stream going. And this video actually stayed on YouTube for a further 48 hours before being taken down. Once arrested, Stas obviously played the victim by claiming he did nothing wrong and suggested that Valentina had in fact died because of a drug overdose. But thankfully, due to his constant filming of his sadistic acts, 
his live streams told a totally different story. Initially, it was thought she actually died of hypothermia, but after a post-mortem examination, it was revealed that Valentina actually died of a closed craniocerebral trauma due to being repeatedly hit over the head. She also sustained multiple bruising on the face and hemorrhaging of soft tissue. Stas later testified that on that same day Valentina died, he did in fact hit her over the head at least on several different occasions and admitted to beating her. The judge convicted him of intentional infliction of grievous bodily harm, danger to human life and negligence and only sentenced him to six years. Six years, guys. Now, even before this incident, Stas's platform became shrouded with these trash streaming acts and He's had a long history of being a volatile, violent and an abusive person who clearly took pleasure in exploiting vulnerable people for money and views. For example, on one stream before Valentina's death, a viewer paid Stas to pepper spray Valia in the face. She lays on the couch in agony and instead of comforting her, he just decided to spray her in the face again and proceeds to calmly sit down as nothing happened. Now, warning with the following clip, there's gonna be a censored version of video playing. Now, in this clip, we can actually see Valentina being assaulted by another woman and this anger Stas, he decides to deal with it by viciously attacking the woman and throwing her to the ground and beating her until she had a broken nose. Now, Stas is also the culprit of abuse towards an alcoholic homeless man named Valentin, who he lured in with promises of alcohol, somewhere to stay and food, as Valentin was known to be homeless. Their relationship in the beginning was pretty normal, but it didn't take long for Stas to start abusing him and making him do things on camera for money and views. Stas had started bullying his new victim via his sadistic ritual baptisms, in which viewers would donate to Stas to throw ice-cold water over the sometimes unsuspecting victim. He would also take payments to smash eggs over Valentin's head, and let's be real, like, it does kind of hurt when you're getting an egg smashed in your face or on your head. The shells are sharp. And his sick acts, unfortunately, didn't stop there because sometimes he would decide to urinate in a cup. His viewers wanted to pay him to make Valentin drink his urine. And, of course, with pleasure, Stas did this numerous times by A, pretending it was beer or some form of other drink, or B, if Valentin didn't agree, he would just force him. Stas would pass Valentin around the trash streaming community so that they could all take turns in bullying him. And because of this, Valentin became infamous for actually going to people's houses and letting them commit abusive acts on him. And at one point, he even told a police officer that they were all just his friends. Now... Let's just please remember the vulnerable state that Valentin was in and that I don't think he did it just for his own amusement, but we'll get into that later. After a while, Valentin had had enough and told them that he no longer wanted to be involved with the group. He tried to message his friends for help, but Stas took his phone and threw it out of the window, which obviously made it shatter. He also stole Valentin's passport 
and forcibly kept him there for his live streams and donations. Unfortunately, there are a number of videos of Valentin online being abused, smacked around and humiliated. He escaped the house six months later when Stas was busy having intercourse with a prostitute. And before this moment occurred for him, Valentin had previously cried and begged on stream numerous times to be let go. But he sadly went back to Stas and the abusive environment, which to me could possibly be a sign of Stockholm Syndrome. Or it just could have been that he needed the small amount of money that Stas would supply him for being abused on stream. I wish I could end the video here, but I can't. Because Stas then looked to a new victim who was a disabled man this time. And of course he exploited and abused him on his streams as well. He laughs as he lets his friends smack this man around the face. The same man can also be seen in several other streams being bullied by them, forcing him to do things like drink seven litres of oil, which causes him to become so ill that the emergency services had to be called. Stas, being the sick man that he was, made sure to film this person suffering from beginning to end in order to accumulate as much money as he could from the viewers. Stas also made him get a tattoo of all their names so that he's branded by them for life. Unfortunately, the trash streaming community doesn't stop with Stas. Another man known as Andre Burim. Now, he would seek girls out from apps like Chat Roulette and convince them to strip for him in order to get more likes and follows on social media. He reportedly also did this with minor girls and was sent to court, but mysteriously had all the charges dropped. He also pays people to fight one another, he's beaten women, he's poured urine over someone, all while receiving thousands of dollars in donations to do these acts. In one of his streams, which looks like it's filmed in a very public setting, he is aggressively grabbing on to 21-year-old Elena's face. You can tell the people around him knows he's about to do something. With her friend in the background trying to calm things down and that random hand that moves the glass from the table. But previously to this, Elena had made a joke in regards to Andre's body and with his pride hurt in front of his viewers, he proceeds to grab her by the neck and smashes her face into the table around six or seven times. Elena, due to this, sustained some horrific injuries and shared this to her social media platform asking other women to come forward that has also been assaulted by him. Unfortunately, there are no reports in letting me know how this case actually went for Elena, but his YouTube and Twitch platforms were permanently banned after that incident, but he previously had over 600,000 subscribers who enjoyed watching him do these acts. Now, what's most disturbing to me for both of these cases was that apart from their friends and themselves who would all encourage each other, a very large portion of the encouragement was coming from the public, from people like me and you watching this today. Thanks for watching. If you got this far into the video, this is a new and upcoming page called Totally Mental Topics. Please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what you would like to hear about next.